Gua ada members, kita balik lagi udah ke tenis indoor senayan Hari ini big game of course, kita jadi bagi Mas Satria muda pertamanya Super excited untuk liput game kali dan ini eksklusif Hanya untuk member aja, this is my token of appreciation Thank you so much kepada semua members gue yang udah selalu support Yang udah selalu langganan setiap bulannya Thank you so much karena gara-gara kalian sih gua makanya bisa ngeliput-liput IBL juga tahun ini So, once again, super excited though kita akan lihat kira-kira apakah SM hari ini bisa keep up atau enggak melawan PJ dan Thomas Robinson the big news is dia bisa main hari ini ternyata ada perubahan sedikit uh, peraturan di IBL tahun ini sehingga it's okay kalau dia kena technical dan juga a sportman like mine so it's gonna be interesting though tonight so I cannot wait once again thank you so much guys for always supporting jangan lupa untuk like and jangan lupa untuk comment juga and enjoy the vlog guys kalau di home game PJ sih banyak aktivitas sih ada kayak arcade gitu, lalu ada store-nya juga di sebelahnya. But this is pretty cool though. Dan ini ada kayak vending machine nggak tahu nih isinya apa nih claw machine. This is very interesting. Bisa menangin apa gue nggak tahu sih. <laughs> Bisa dimainin atau enggak tapi ya yeah, seru sih. Bisa terus seruan dulu sebelum nonton game PJ. Gila makanannya komplit sih ada KFC, ada Taco Bell. Ada Shilin, ada nasi goreng dan ada DJ guys. DJ-nya langsung di sini. Oke. Okay. It's like a party though out here. Dan ada Nixon tiba-tiba di sini. Halo Nixon. <laughs> lagi di stretch dulu sebelum game biar banyak nih 3 point ini dan sini ada Reza dia yang lagi pemanasan sama T3 T3 kerja keras ngejar bola uh. nice pass T3 
bukan teammate SM itu pemain lokal paling penting, pemain asing hanya pelengkap buat kita karena pemain lokal paling penting lah di IBL, maksudnya jangan ada asing, jadi asing yang kelihatan dominan enggak tapi kalau di SM, kita terapin selalu ya kita bisa nge-backup satu sama lain, kita bisa pada saat bincang, misalkan ada mic nggak main, siapa yang harus set up di latihan, terbukti kita mungkin yang posisinya senai, tambahan lebih dua kali, tiga kali lipat dibandingin ya statusnya mungkin jadi ntar uh, pada saat dimainkan yang pemain cadangan yang mungkin yang pemain lokal yang jarang main bisa membantu ya tim pertamanya gitu sih. Same question to you coach. Uh, Satria muda uh, play without Mike Henry because the injured, but the local player is step up and uh, uh, can cover that uh, that that Mike Henry role. What do you think about that? We are a family. When some member of the family is not available, I mean, we are just uh, stepping up. So that's what they say. And uh, we don't have IDs, we don't have nationalities, we don't have anything in this thing. We are just a family. And in a family, okay, we are not looking for that. We are not looking if uh, we have a player that is 18 years old. Uh, we are not having a player that is like Indonesian or is American or uh, no. We are just okay, a members of one team. And I have today 12 players. It's true that I said before, they make a statement as a, as a players to the Indonesian players and it's very important for them but not, it's not only to arrive, they need to be consistent now which is the next step, so they need to be consistent so for me, it's, as I say, I'm very proud of them and they need to keep just working because we are starting the league Coach, uh, you helped them to 77 points and then only 8 
for 36 from the three-point line. Um, how, how happy are you with the defense and especially with the zone though, with the 2-3 zone? We, we, we had to use the that one also to cover because tomorrow we have a double, a double a back to back. So uh, I, 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 am, uh, I, really, I, I really like when the players they are in men to men and they just jump and they, we can try to do other things. But we are, today that was the strategy. I think that we contest the shots even if they were in zone. We were matching up very good and they, they, they made the execution of the plan that was the plan very good. So. Uh, it's good. Some of, sometimes you are lucky, sometimes you are lucky. The other day we were not scoring, today we were scoring, so that sometimes is like a... But uh, overall, of course, I'm very happy. Uh, it's not easy to stop these players okay, to, to score. Uh, even yesterday, in a second, they were, the, the game was 48-40, mm. with free throws for Hawks, and after they went boom! 72 uh, points, uh, so it's like they are uh, amazing scores, so to reduce the hour, of course, very proud and it's all the credit, all the credit, the players. And was it your game plan also to get a lot of mismatches for Jared tonight? Well, I mean, uh, I think that uh, it's, uh, it's important to, to work on the mismatches. Hmm. And that's one of the things that we were, we were as well preparing. So it was not the only plan, it was one of the options. We were thinking as well to work more off the board, but at the, at the end, okay, it was more ball screen so you the game as well is giving you that flow and we need to read from the bench and give that flow you know so especially when the players they are very good at scoring in these situations thank you much ada percuma punya pemain yang jago banget pemain individual karena kita ya terbukti hari ini kita main as a team dengan kita kekurangan main ke main kita lokalnya juga Nggak gede-gede segala macam kita main as a team, kita percaya sama coaching staff, kita percaya sama manajemen, percaya sama atom satu sama lain, kita bisa menangkan game ini. Obviously from uh, our perspective uh, on our home court for Pelita Jaya, it was, uh, it, it hurts, it hurts when you, you get uh, beat like that on our home court, because uh, I feel that we've let down our supporters. Uh, yeah, our, our management, our own group, and uh, we, we um, yeah, so I'm very, very disappointed with, with that game. However, um, I thought Satria and Woodard were outstanding. They, they, they taught us a lesson today, uh, and I think it's really good for us uh, to see where we're really at. Uh, always look at uh, what can we learn from this experience. And uh, I think that yeah, we got beat everywhere. Our defense was woeful. It was as bad a, a, a defensive performance I've seen in a long time. They ran whatever they wanted to run in offense. Uh, defensively, obviously, they just sat in that zone because we, we did a very, very poor job of shooting tonight. Uh, our decision making was poor. So it, it might sound like I'm, I'm being very negative, uh, but I think that that's a really, all I'm disappointed, it's a good loss for us to give us a wake up call. Because I know, and I, and I said uh, last night, we, we've arguably got the most talented roster in, in, in the league, and everybody is going after us. So I think mentally, um, we, we, are, we are so far off the pace. You know, teams are coming in to our home venue and we just like that tonight. We as a team, we, we got a, what I call harden up. You know, we got a soft underbelly. You know, the, I'm sorry for the cliches and Australian terminology and things like that, but um, you know, that, that wasn't good enough for us as a team. And we need to reflect, review, get better, particularly defensively. Because uh, uh, if we can play the defence and get out in our, our style of game, free-flowing, push the ball, tap the rim, shoot the threes, we're, we're, we're really good at that. But at the moment, we're very poor in the half court. We got exposed tonight. And uh, you know, I thank the coach of uh, Sutria Muna for uh, kicking our butt because we got to learn from it. Uh, kalau dari uh, Gusi ya tadi, Ya pasti ya Satria Muda mainnya bagus banget hari ini, kompres juga buat mereka. Uh, di lain hal kita defense-nya, ya seperti yang Coach bilang kita jelek banget defense hari ini banyak.
banyak poin-poin gampang lah buat mereka gitu itu yang bikin kita it hurt us lah gitu ya jadi ya itu tapi ya sama ini masih di early season banget itu jadi pelajaran buat kita pelajaran buat semuanya ya buat kedepannya kita fokusnya udah tahu harus gimana kita jelajah gimana dari teman-teman media mungkin ada pertanyaan silakan pras tadi pas mereka zone 23 kira-kira kenapa ya kira sulit banget buat kalian dari nyetak poin dan juga pecahin iya waktu dia zone kan emang mereka ya kita nembaknya juga lagi off hmm. mungkin karena nggak ya karena half shot semua di lain itu zone mereka juga oke okay, mungkin mereka udah prepare juga gitu ngawan kita jadi kita jadi nggak bisa main cepat juga uh, defense kita itu defense kita jelek mereka bisa set zone defense uh, itu yang bikin rusak ritme permainan kita dan sampai kayak gini gitu ngobrol gua um, kalian tadi 36 ya, 38 ya three point nya attempt nya apakah kalian ngerasa tadi terlalu settle buat three points 36 36 ya ya mungkin itu rit- karena ritmenya kita hmm. udah nggak sesu- seperti kita yang biasanya terus hmm. kita pengen cepat-cepat ngejar pasti semuanya semuanya juga pengen cepat ngejar lah gitu ya hmm. from three point tapi three point kita nggak membantu sama sekali jadi ya ini jadi ya, pelajaran buat kita ya kita nggak bisa ngandelin hmm. cuman apa one on one uh, terus tap shot tap shot three point gitu kalau kita lagi ini kita harus dia ya, punya something else lah buat dihadapin uh, zone zone ke depannya coach they got a lot of mismatches through pick and roll Can you just touch on that pick and roll defense for you guys? Uh, we didn't follow the scout. Mm. Simple as that. We, 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 uh, sorry, sorry, we, um, mm. so we didn't follow the scout at all. Mm. And uh, whether it's lack of preparation, potentially, you know, again, when you play two games in a week, uh, our focus was on the Hawks last night, mm. and uh, we only had one day to prepare for that. So it wasn't, we, we didn't get to train and put a, a proper system in play. So a lot of it was done through video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, video review, meetings with the players, watching it. This is how we're going to, to do that. But but it shows that because of our lack of preparation today for them, uh, that's why they kicked our butt. You know, they, they had a week's preparation. They, they did an amazing job to, to, um, to scout us. Uh, you know, so I said full complement to the opposition too. Uh, we as an organisation, not myself as a coach, we've got to do a better job with our prep. I have a high expectation that my players need, need to do a whole lot of preparation as well. It goes both ways. Do you feel the team settled too much though for a three point? 100%. Hmm. 100%. And uh, that was frustrating that under pressure, uh, the, the players, uh, they didn't follow our zone offense. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we struggle in that area and, and that's a good lesson for us because now we can watch the video, we can show where we break down and 100% and I keep saying to our players and I'm not sure how many times I said it, we, we can't just continue to blaze away from the three point line, we have to attack from the inside. So we need to get it to our, our post players, but then when I look at our post players, we, we, right now, uh, you know, 5 and 16 inside the key. Uh, you know, it's not real good for our bigs with our finishing as well. You know, it's, it's no blame game or anything like that in any, any way, but we have to work out as a team how we're going to beat this. And uh, blazing away from the three-point line it, when, when we're not making it, it doesn't work. From your point of view as a coach, the zone defense, they did two, I think two, three zone defense they're yeah. using. What give you guys a lot of trouble with that? Oh, look, um, I, I did, we didn't screen well enough on it. Yeah, we've got some sets that we run for our shooters. Obviously, they scouted us for that, you know, so they took that away. Uh, yeah, so I, 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 as a coach, I need to look at some different options there. But, uh, yeah, we, we just did a very, very poor job and understanding how to beat the zone. And, and I'm glad it's happened now. So you've got to remember, it's this is round two. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, we're not going to, you know, be too concerned about you know what's going to happen for the rest of the season because it's a learning time of the year right now. Thank you. Thank you.